Okay, folks, we want to thank Athabasca University and the Finders, which basically they give us this animation of what the asteroid belt in front of Earth as we've got the moon and the Earth down on the bottom. And we've got asteroid TK7 moving along. And there you go, the moon and Earth there. And this is it's moving around. And it keeps pretty much in that action an idea that this has actually been even, I think I've seen a news report one time on, I'm not going to say which one because it's all propaganda anyway. They're all owned by, you can look up who owns the majority shares of each one of any of the broadcasting companies in America and the world. And the idea that that's the propaganda. They want to sell you their story, okay? So that's just probably about where we're at right now. Because uh, we had the all-time close of in 94. And the idea that this should be moving back away from us now. And like I say, this is all thanks to Athabasca. And I'll give a link to the Finder's site and so forth and so on. The scientist or, you know, whatever he wants to call himself. Uh, so this is animation. The sun's in the middle. The earth's down there. And we rotate around, which is basically, I am kind of just at this one, so I'm looking at this, is kind of confused because the idea that we are supposed to rotate to the, yeah, they're showing this could be backwards because it just gets played the way it gets played. Because the earth rotates what we are always led to believe that the earth rotates we ro rotate east towards the sun and the supergiants okay so the sun and the supergiants are out here okay anywhere pretty much right now anywhere here and all out here is where the supergiants are at okay it's humongous the supergiants area and the sun is in the supergiants let me take you to the sun and the supergiants getting now currently this is the earth getting its ass kicked in the supergiants ladies and gentlemen Yes, it's very true, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting his ass kicked in the supergiants. And yes, you see what we see, folks. We have a planetary system down there below the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Is it part of the asteroid belt? Now, this is, to me, seems to be what they are hiding on the SOHO that I found earlier today that they put the little white blotch, okay? Now, everything gets triangulation so that when you see it, it's hard to discover unless you know for certain dates and certain times. So I'm going to be starting to look at Worldwide Telescope to see about finding these certain objects, which I think these are probably new and just being recorded now because these are little planets. And I'll zoom in the screen a thousand percent as you see these right here. This moves along. And let me take you down to the clock as we're at 400 percent. Take you down to the clock. And you realize how big the Earth is. The Earth is probably somewhere around the size of maybe something like just any one of these small tiny grains folks not one of these planets you see small tiny grains and you can see that we see the triangulations of the comet flashes and so forth that we end up seeing off soho okay this was taken today and it's awesome footage okay and i can just basically keep it here and move up to thousand and keep on getting these objects and watch the clicker and the time and everybody should be able to find these and we basically are finding stuff right along with nasa in the world astronomers because the idea that they find this stuff on SOHO on satellites right along with our tax dollars because we pay for this stuff. So let's go ahead and zoom this in. Now I'll take you back to that footage and zoom in but remember this is LASCO 2 which is basically I believe uh, yeah it should be on behind and this is going to show you and I'll zoom in real fast like I did in the last video. These are planets and everything behind the supergiants. So people are starting to realize that I'm telling you the absolute truth that there is stuff in the supergiants as the sun is in the supergiants. Let's zoom in on this. These are planets, folks. Planets, objects in space that are humongous, okay? Because the Earth is small. The Earth is probably no more larger than, and even though this object is way far back, we are no s larger, Earth is no larger than more than likely a grain down here folks just some kind of a grain not even these these objects are all bigger than earth ourselves we are hiding out we are safe because we're like a little rabbit hiding in a hole folks okay there are planets moving around there in a quad okay ie this is more than likely the asteroid belt blown up out of the soho shot today okay and you can't fake it we're coming down 
here and you'll see the light change. But even in a black and white photo, folks, you'll see the light. You see the darkness come in? Okay, and then we come back to the light of the sun. And there's Asteroid Belt. Because the, when they show you the blue Soho, they have got the arm twisted around. And this is up in the right-hand side of the blue Sohos that you see. Okay, this is blown up at 1,000%, folks, so you can see this stuff, okay? So realize how big this stuff is, okay? Because we'll pop to the percentage here real fast, and we'll blow it down to 400, and you'll see what they're blocking out on the left-hand side of this of this Soho shot here, okay? And that was on the right-hand side up there, so they were blocking stuff out, and just realize how humongous that stuff is there too. And these are all behind and ahead, are pretty much basically positioned like you know they are. Go to solar images and you'll be able to see how it's positioned. You can also go to NASA and go to SOHO and see where the, and they're not going to move into this stuff. They can't move into this stuff. It's uncharted area for those. They're going to try to keep those satellites out of there and they probably will do a darn good job of keeping those satellites out of there. So folks with this clock and you see this movement and they move right around the sun like we do. We rotate, we rotate on our axis and we basically ro rotate counterclockwise around the sun. Now, I could be wrong on that because that, that guy's player showed different. But you, as you can see here also, the, the massive objects near the supergiants. I mean, in the supergiants, and it's massive, the supergiants, okay? And you can see the lesser material up that way, okay? So let me blow into 1,000 and go through this video and take a look at these objects here in space, okay? And you'll have the clock going. And here we go, folks. We'll be able to zoom in on these objects and be able to come back down to the clock, and you'll realize that I'm not giving you no hocus-pocus, okay? So, and I'll even probably zoom out, but this is a close look at a thousand real fast of these objects. Basically, humongous distances we're looking at, folks, and that's in this satellite shots, okay? And this is the objects that they are blocking out on you on the blue shots that they don't want you to see. And since the player has to do, deal with giving us the thousand, you see the overlays of the shots because that's how they do it, satellite photos, folks. Bam, bam, and then they piece them together and then put the movie together and give you the movie. And then they also keep out what they don't want you to see. So there still could be something here at 1,000% that we don't get to see, folks. And this is just playing. I'm not moving around right now. So you, this is just photo overlap of the shots put together from the satellites, okay? And you get to see these objects going through space. So either they missed it or they decided it was okay for us to see these objects moving through space, folks. And as I zoom out, you will understand, and then I'll give you the clock, and we'll start zooming out, and you will understand that the idea that these objects rotate around just like Earth does around the sun, okay, folks? Let's keep zooming out. And those are those planets rotating around and they're very close to the sun, but yes, yeah, so they're in a very dangerous area because the idea is you see the sun flare. Now, I don't know, if these are closer to us, towards Soho ahead, or Soho B, because we know where they're at, they're sitting safe and staying like a V action back from the sun to Earth right now. We almost have a triangulation. The sun and Earth are at the north and south points, and Soho B and A are at left and right. And you can go to solar to, and you go to anywhere to figure that out. And I'll be telling you the truth, and you know the truth is about the supergiants. If we keep these satellites up and we don't see the satellites moving, because we can control the satellites and keep them there, okay? We can freeze the satellites by going back and forth in the orbit and not letting them keep their orbit. Because we have to keep them away from the supergiants, okay? So you're going to start seeing frozen orbits of the SOHO satellites. There was a big solar blast. Let's try to see if we can see what time that solar blast comes up on the clock down here and freeze that. So I'm going to miniature down a little bit more and see what time we get that blast. And wow, that's... I'm going to... Okay. Got to go back and see about that. And I want to reverse. So there we go. Let's get back to that blast. And as we see, some stuff is making it sun flare normally. And then, holy buckets, folks, 912, check that solar blast out. 
like I say, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is getting its ass kicked in the solar in the super giants, folks. Now we kind of figure that Rigel Cantaris B or some of the other big material that's came by the sun and is more than likely in front of it now. Rigel A even, which was astonishing yesterday, because that gives us where that's at. So check out you gotta watch the last half dozen videos, folks. If you haven't seen one in pretty much every one of my videos, if you haven't seen it, you gotta check it out. So we're going to zoom in on this shot because we got some wild looking stuff right there. Okay, so you know we were at the solar blast and we moved in on this objects down here. And check that out. There's a unique triangulation and very solid in space because the idea, i.e. the fact that it just didn't get blown away by the, like a comet or a smaller object would get blown away. And then you get other dark objects that are, are dead planets that don't even have a luminosity, a luminosity, or when they created didn't have it, and check that out. They're all there, the black specks, folks. Those are, so as you can cruise around on this, and I did, you know, I'm not gonna waste time going to the clock. I might get there to a pan it to it, but you get a lot of stuff illuminated, and the idea that it, it's such a massive blast that some of this black stuff could be objects off the sun. But no matter what, the sun is in the supergiants. It's getting its ass kicked, or it's kicking the supergiants ass, one or the other. But it's way smaller than the supergiants. There are suns in the supergiants four to 78 times the size of the sun. So we'll cruise up here. And wow, there is a massive object, folks, because realize how big the sun is and realize that chunk of something out there. So that's something to triangulate and try to figure out that activity on that of where that's moving through space. Okay. The n unique thing is that it's out in front of us. Now that's interesting because it looks like that object that I've been showing you a lot lately on Soho in the blue action. So, and also remember, I'm going to take you to Helios Viewer, those pictures that I had real fast too, and make everybody realize that we have that big object to the right hand side of, and there could be basically a finally a little bit of of something on that but the idea that what we know to be the massive object up behind on helio viewer that we keep on that the helio viewer doesn't hide it from us okay they let us see it they get the the videos straight from they have a contractual obligation or basically nasa did to them or whoever could that they actually look at this stuff and then look at that long something out there that could be the flat object from below on the blue shots the last two or three videos because we showed how, and that does match up size-wise to what how massive something was below the uh, the sun. So check that object out, folks. Flat and long, it can't hide. It's exposed. So basically, that's pretty much our. We're gonna show the panties off space, pretty much here, folks. So basically, we'll call it space porn. That's what we'll do to this video. We'll call it space porn because we're showing stuff, folks. Space porn. Get everybody hooked on space porn. All right. So let's go take a look at HeliViewer. And yes, again, we have the clock times here, and that's something to go, if you can still get this on HeliViewer, is to go watch all these clocks. They should stay synced, otherwise they're hiding something else from us, okay? But uh, as I go through these pictures, I'm going to have some of them where the clock doesn't show, okay? I'll try to stick in here with the clock, and you can see our massive object that for a long time, everybody was getting on here and telling us, it's just a glitch of the camera. It's just a dirty lens. It's just this. It's that. That object is there. So you can zoom in on it. Take these two painting on whatever software you got. And you, this here will show you Lovejoy going through. And then it's going to come out backwards. It'll come out with that tail uh, if we are to believe that that's what it is. But then that's another thing is if we go through here, is it takes off out of this shot and realize the size of the sun on this shot. So what we are still seeing on fire in the so as you see, it's gone. Okay? At that time, it's gone. So what I really do believe we still have seen up there is the idea something around Mercury or Mercury is on fire. Okay? And we know this is humongous, and that's what the... Uh, you have to look it up. You can still, I believe, find videos on YouTube of the space shuttle footage of, and I showed a video a long time ago of it, and it's uh, got like a enumeration like uh, mass, mass 2 or mass 22 too, and it could be the same object, but it's humongous because you can see that, that size of that object compared to the sun 
and it's still there. And we always get it blocked out from us on the Soho shots, okay? So being the holidays, I can really pump out.